Welcome to our oil chat. Today we've got a great list of small essentials that you'll want to take with you as you travel this spring and this summer. My friend Linda is going to be joining me here any second and we're going to run through these great, they're small travel essentials so they're going to fit into um, maybe your carry-on bag or easily in um, your oil bag or your um, toiletry bag and you'll have them ready for you as you travel. So any second she's going to be on here and I can tell you what these are. All of them are things that you can get from doTERRA and some of them you may not have been aware of that we have them so it'll be fun to highlight them for you today so you know about all of them. So if you are watching us today in the replay or live, we'd love to know where you're traveling this summer. So down in the um, comments below, let us know where your um, travels will be taking you. Okay, I am going to, looks like I can get Linda on here now. Please let this over to her. Just one second. And there's Linda. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> so I asked them all to tell us if they're watching in the replay or watching live where they might be traveling to this spring or this summer so we know um, you know some fun places that our um, oil friends will be so Linda do you have anywhere you're traveling to this summer um, I actually do um, in well let's see in another week uh, not uh, uh, well actually over Memorial Day weekend we are mm -hmm. actually we had some Amish friends who live in Philadelphia New York and we um, have always said we're going to go visit them. And so we are going to go visit them in wow. just another week, you know, and um, not stay with them. But um, close by. And, and we're going to do a couple of stops along the way. Um, it's an eight hour drive. So we thought, oh, we'll sightsee along the way and a way yeah. back. And and so we're going to we're going to go there. OK, so oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's one place, and right. so well, good. Well, we are. I think the only place. Well, I don't know. There might be a couple little things that pop up here and there, but we are heading down to South Carolina in July, early July. So um, that'll be fun. That's oh, the whole family oh. and a whole bunch of extended family is going to join us there as well. Oh, so that will um, be great. Yeah, we're looking forward to that trip. So I'm certain that just about everything we're going to talk about today will be in my travel bags. I think so. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. So, and I said that they're small travel essentials and they really are. They're not going to take too much room up and they're easy to have with you. And I think they're very important too. I think you'll find that these are very needed as you travel. So the word essentials is correct today, for sure. For sure. So the first thing we wanted to do, though, is um, just kind of run through a little bit of the guidelines for traveling with oils in case you are um, planning to travel. And it includes, um, you know, it might include being on an airplane. So if not, some of these are also good for traveling by car as well. But packing them properly. So if you've tra traveled with oils ever before or anything, like, you know, even traveling with um, beauty products, you have to think about this too. What is going to have to stay cool and not be in a car where it gets too hot? Or if something gets squished or dropped, is something going to break or something going to open and the contents come out so you have to think about that with your oils too so it's always nice to put your oils into some sort of ziploc bag just in case a bottle gets broken or a lid wasn't tight that they might be coming off so that's a good one but also something where they are protected maybe so it's something soft too or even packing them maybe in between clothes it's also a good way to protect them as you travel. Mm -hmm. Now what about, what, what would you do with your oils that maybe you've made up your own DIYs? 
Do you have a suggestion? I do. I make sure that I label them. Um, in fact, I've got so sometimes I I have labels ready made on on the computer so that I actually know what's in it mm -hmm. and um, I know what it is. Um, so because if the label comes off or somebody else, if I if I'm somewhere and and family is there and we're getting ready to leave and I think, okay, they really have used this a lot while I was here, so I'll give it to them. So I do make sure that they, um, that I have some kind of a label. And, and I usually used to just write it, um, but now I've got, so if, if I've got a label and it's on the computer already made on a sticky, you know, mm -hmm. label, then it's, if I've given it away, it's easier for me to make another one than write it all out. It's just, oh, yeah. I've, it's just become a little easier for me to do it that way. But definitely, definitely, um, I make sure that I, that I actually have what's in it and wh good. what it's for. Um, because I do have one um, that I carry all the time um, that's part of my morning routine that I actually um, have um, labeled blood pressure. Okay. Um, and it's one that I apply to my cartoid arteries and um, then I apply also to my chest. And so that's just one that is already made up and I use it all the time. So it has a label. Okay. okay. That's good. Good advice. Now, when you travel, I don't, unless you're traveling in the, in a car with a whole bunch of people, it's a road trip. I'm thinking the other situations might be if you were to go on a, a bus trip or a plane where you're surrounded by a whole bunch of strangers. Have you ever opened up an oil and, and you've been concerned if it's overpowering to those around you? Well, <laughs> um, not usually. I mean, for instance, if I went on the plane and um, and sometimes I have done a blend that might be calming. Um, for instance, I actually had one that was made up and and I already had it on me. Um, I usually don't get it out then, but I have it on me. Um, but and I don't really notice it, but you know, someone else may say, oh, you're, you've got oils on today, mm -hmm. don't you? You know, but I feel they're very subtle. But I will tell you about an experience I had. One time I flew, um, flew, flew, I was flying home from Texas by myself. And um, there was, uh, there was some turbulence that day. And there was this, there were three seats there in our row. And, um, uh, I was on the window side and there was a lady on the aisle side and she had a scarf on and she had some kind of lavender. It, it was not our, it was not our doTERRA lavender, but she had some kind of lavender and it was like, whoa, but she had it on the scarf because she knew that lavender would be calming and we were going through turbulence and she needed that. And, and I agree we we needed it but mm -hmm. but it was it was quite overpowering and um and i thought um you know i knew oils and so i knew about this but i thought and i didn't ask her what kind it was but yeah. it, it was very overpowering and it was on that scarf it was like whoa it was more like a perfume and yeah, something she maybe picked up yeah. and sprayed or something. Yeah. And um, it, it was a bit much. And so I think in, in that respect, yes, you have to be mindful of others. Um, usually if I apply it ahead of time, I don't, I don't just get it out. Um, um, but, but if I do, it has to be something that's very subtle, not something that would bother because some people, um, you know, a lot. are impacted by it. Yeah. Bothers, you know, I, I had a, um, a trip one time when I went to Utah to doTERRA, the doTERRA conference. And this was before COVID when just about 
everybody, you know, mm -hmm. went mm -hmm. to convention because convention is fun. You get to see all the new products first and then you get to touch them and smell them and have them in your hands. And um, so it's fun to go to convention. Mm -hmm. So back then when I was going to convention, we had like 30,000 people traveling to Utah, right? So you'd get on the plane and you'd see at least 15 people you knew because they would have their doTERRA garb on and their doTERRA backpack and you knew who else was going to doTERRA typically. It wasn't, it wasn't a secret. Plus you start to recognize people from, you know, doing network work, mm -hmm. networking with other um, people at our, you know, educational functions and things like that. But so if you can imagine all these different planes are flying back and forth to Utah and people are getting on all day long and off. <laughs> And the uh, flight attendant goes on to like start her routine. And then the routine was, if you have essential oils today, please refrain from using them. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little too much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because of everybody's using their favorite. <laughs> yes. Uh, or or if, if they were using Spike Nord, Spike Nord, it would... Oh my, oh, it'd be yeah. overwhelming, yes, yes. Right. if everybody were yes. using them. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yeah. it was kind of funny, like, oh, she's been on a couple flights today with no chair of people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so anyhow, I guess that whenever I think of that, like, think about your surroundings mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah. not everybody loves the smell of essential oils, even though we think they all should. There are people that are just hypersensitive to any smell, whether it is a pure smell from a plant or, you know, a perfume that is, is synthetic. So, you know, you just have to be careful with other people's feelings and smells <laughs> and all of that. Mm -hmm. So those are our tips on how to pack and travel with your oils. Now for the good things, for those mm -hmm. small little essentials that I know you can throw into your bags as you travel this summer. I love knowing that if a cough comes up or a stomach upset comes up that if I have some of the lozenges in my purse the bottom of my purse I can dig for it and get it and I can feel better almost instantly so um which which ones are your favorite of our lozenges there's three different ones um well I probably like the On Guard drops and the ginger drops. Okay. Um, and I can tell you that the ginger drops, uh, both of those, I always keep a allonge, yeah, uh, in my um, purse at all time. So, so um, and I will tell you that um, last summer um, when I was at the funeral of my mother, um, we were all gathered there and somehow picked up a bug <laughs> uh, at the funeral. And, and it was like, okay, you know, it was like um, tumbling bricks one at a time. And then the next one, who's going to go down next? Yeah. And I will tell you, I had my, I mean, I had actually put in the whole bag. <laughs> um, and so, um, but in my purse, I had one. And so I would give them out to them because here we are with some kind of stomach virus and not feeling well at all. And it seemed like those ginger drops were the only thing that made any difference yeah. at all. You know, I mean, and, and it was just like one right mm -hmm. after another. And so then what am I doing? I'm actually sending them home with family <laughs> members, you know. And um, so um, that was the one thing that really um, was effective for us. So I carry ginger drops at all times uh, for stomach. And, um, and they're good, too. Just, you know, the lemon and ginger. And then the On Guard drops. Um, for any time I might have um, a little bit of a throat issue. Um, um, not only are they very soothing um, if I had a sore throat or a, a scratchy, you know, throat, they're very, they're, they're also very good for protecting us and our immune system. Yeah. So those two are always with me. Yeah. That's 
good. The um, ginger drops, not only for um, digestive issues, but also if you're traveling somewhere where the elevation is going to be different, mm -hmm. um, that can really affect some people. I know it really affects me. Mm -hmm. And the ginger drops are really good at helping kind of stabilize you mm -hmm. and help you adapt to that new elevation. So that's a good one to um, have if you're traveling somewhere, you know, with a different elevation. Mm -hmm. um, the breeze drops. I love the breeze drops. And of all of the drops, if my kids aren't feeling well, like a respiratory or a, um, you know, season seasonal issue those are the ones that I can get them to take they like those so they normally have a few of those even in their backpack on you know to and from school so that's a big one that I rely on a lot are the breathe ones and if I'm if I am not feeling well I do I do like the on guard ones but I do not love them as much as I love the breathe <laughs> ones the breathe ones are my favorite <laughs> yeah so those are great. And then um, let's see, our next little thing to take with you, I, I think this is one of Linda's favorites, but she really wanted to make sure we talk about this one today, our On Guard Wipes. Okay, right here. <laughs> I, I really like to carry um, a couple of these in my purse because um, it's flat and it's easy to carry. And I don't use them particularly to wipe off my hands or my face or any of that. Um, but what I do like them for is when I'm traveling, if I go into um, a restaurant and they haven't cleaned the table <laughs> very well, um, then actually having a wipe like this to take out and wipe across the table um, is very effective um, for actually killing germs and, you know, just protecting your immune system and getting the dirt off the table. Um, and so then you feel like you have a clean place to sit down to eat because we all have to eat somewhere. And so, um, and we're usually, in, in, in my instance, we're not allowed to eat in the car. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, you know, you go into usually a, a fast food place or a, a restaurant and it's just, um, those are places um, where it's good to have these wipes with me. Mm -hmm. So I always like to carry one um, with me, Yeah. you know. And I mean, you could use them also, um, to um, clean off a toilet seat, yeah, if you like okay. to. So these are just very, very convenient, flat mm -hmm. to carry in your purse and disposable. And so those work very well when That's traveling. Good. When when you fly, you might get those, you know, mm -hmm. the uh, dropping down the tray, you might want to wipe off, wipe off the tray mm -hmm. from whoever was sitting there yeah. before you or even yeah. your arm rests, you know, mm -hmm. there's those those places where you're going to be for a while and you might be putting your arms and hands on all those surfaces. Right. Those really come in handy. And, and even your grocery carts. I mean, that's at home, but mm -hmm. you know, those are good for that too. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So those, those are two of our little things. And then, um, the next one, this is another one. If you travel and you get motion sickness or, um, just stomach upset maybe from something that you've eaten that isn't a normal part of your diet or I don't know, uh, maybe you're traveling far and you're the driver and you're starting to get sleepy. It's also good for this too. So we're talking about the peppermint beadlets. So those tiny little beadlets, it's so small. It's like, it's about the size of a chapstick. So you could just leave that in your purse at all times to have in case something like that pops up and they're also amazing for um freshening your breath so if you've stopped to eat and then maybe you're not a gum chewer but you like to you know you can't go brush your teeth wherever you are but you want to pop something in these are great for that too mm -hmm. what is there something else too that you oh, might use um, i often think um this time of the year with 
um, allergies and sinuses and that kind of stuff. Um, for me, it, it's a good one that sort of kills that gunk in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it just helps clear that kind of thing too. So um, rather than clearing my throat through it all the time, um, put a couple peppermint beadlets in and it just helps to take care of that issue for me. So, uh, but I often, if I'm traveling and I'm sleepy, okay, pop in some peppermint beadlets. Um, especially if I'm driving and, um, yeah. you know, I, I'm alert and awake and it's just very, very yeah. good for me. And I, I think too, the peppermint, that fresh, cool feeling can also be very calming. I have a, a friend who likes to travel with the peppermint beadlets because she gets very anxious and she says she will not travel without them. They really help her to, you know be calm while she's traveling. So that's another, mm -hmm. another reason too. Yeah. Okay. We still have not filled up your purse or your travel bag with anything <laughs> yet. Really? You've got tiny little things in there. So oh, the last one that we're going to highlight now, I love the doTERRA toothpaste mm -hmm. and I, I do think it's a little, little bit expensive but I try to use every bit of it when I, you know, do buy it, but I love the benefits of it. And I think it's worth the cost. So when I traveled with it one time, I had it in my carry on and they threw it away. It was a brand new one. I was so sad. I was like, really? It's just paste. And he was like, nope, it's over. It's over the ounces. You're allowed to carry on. So I had to throw away my brand new toothpaste. I was so upset. So now it's so much more convenient because you can just use those toothpaste samples mm -hmm. and they're tiny, but there's enough in there for multiple uses. Right. So she's showing you the little, they come in like a little sleeve and there's a whole bunch of them in there and you just pop one out and the one little, little thing in there, I think you could use it maybe four times before you've used up all of the um the taste that's in there yeah yes so. yes i you know and i hadn't really thought about that with for traveling i mean i always keep the samples so if someone uh would like to try the toothpaste they can um but then all of a sudden i had a friend who was on a mission trip um mm -hmm. they were going to belize and so she said oh we're leaving in a week do you have any samples and I thought, what, what? Oh, okay, sure. Um, and she hadn't had time to order them. She knew she couldn't get them, but fortunately I had some. And and so every time they go out of the country and now even if they're just over an overnight flight or they go somewhere, these go with them. <laughs> and um, they just, and I thought, oh, wow. I hadn't really thought about that, but that is a great use for these samples. Yes. And um, very inexpensive, um, and I think there's 10 or 12 in the whole pack, but you're right, you get more than one use, and so mm -hmm. usually what happens is when I take them like this, um, both my husband and I, that's morning and night, we can, mm -hmm. we can usually get this on our, on our yeah. toothbrush and have plenty, and so they are very, very handy for trouble, travel, and then you don't take that big tooth you know, tube of toothpaste and you're not risk uh, that. You know. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. so those are our small travel essentials and um, it just makes traveling more convenient with those tiny little things, but all of them I really feel play a really important part in your, um, your travels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be back again next week with a few more tips on traveling and your essential oils. So have a great week.